if this is awkward. I've done this intro like five times now. It's just getting more and more awkward. going to be all about my hair dye ish okay my arms get really tired oh, i cuss so much <laughs> What's up? It's B. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Bushra. I hope you subscribe and then you'll be notified every time I upload a video. For today's video, I'll be showing you exactly what I use to dye my hair and how I do it. All the products, the method, everything is going to be shown to you. It took a very long time to film this, so I hope you appreciate it. And yes, I understand my hair is just dark brown. Yeah, okay. But there's a little bit of dimension to it, okay? It's not just dark brown. And I do get questions all the time about my hair color. And I just say it's dark brown, but like I'm letting you know like the product numbers and everything because it does change. But I've used this color for like six months and more or so. And I do love it. I don't like to pull warm browns. Like my hair naturally pulls a lot of red, a lot of warm brown. I like ashy tones, very, very ashy tones, and they eventually fade out, you know, like hair color fades. So I do bleach my hair a little bit, a little bit, okay, towards the ends, and it just gives it like a little bit of an ombre-ish effect, a little bit of balayage, nothing too crazy. I'm not gonna be bleaching my hair today because my ends are already light. I do dye and bleach my hair myself because my hair is really long and I've gotten quotes from salons and it's going to cost almost $300 because it takes a couple sessions and that's just for one session. Um, no thanks. Also, if you have long hair, your arms are going to get tired, girl. So if you have a friend that you trust, that you trust, get the help, okay? Because your arms are going to get tired and it does take a lot longer. So, I mean, if you have the help, like, why not use it? what you will need. These are all the tools you'll need, plus a white tooth comb. It helps a lot if you have very long hair. But these are the stars of the show. I used all Wella products and got them all from Sally Beauty Supply, so it's pretty affordable. I used Wella's 20 volume developer to mix with all the dyes. For the darkest parts of my hair, I used Wella Permanent Gel Color in 4A Medium Ash Brown. And for the lighter parts on the ends, I used half of 7NN Intense Medium Blonde and half toner, T14 Pale Ash Blonde. This really helps reduce the brassiness. And check out these gloves I got, they have grooves in it. They're actually pretty helpful. It helps to spread the hair dye when I use my fingers. So all I'm gonna do is mix the developer with the hair dye, and I follow the directions on the hair dye. I'm just gonna stir it all together, and when you're done stirring it, it's gonna look like this thick, gelatinous pudding that's kind of gray. I like to split my hair down the center and then section it off from that. This part all depends on you, it just depends on how thick your hair is. Mine's not very thick. I just section it off so I can put enough hair dye on it so all the parts of my hair has color on it and no parts are missing. I start at the roots with the brush and work my way down in the front and the back so there's color on both. And I don't go all the way down to the ends of my hair and I mix it with my fingers a little bit after that so it kind of blends a little bit better because the brush, I feel like the brush just doesn't really cover all the parts.
Then I take this wide tooth comb and kind of comb through it so there are no more tangles and knots in it. Now I'm going to take another section of hair and just give it a quick comb through so it's not super tangly and do the same thing. Starting at the roots, put some hair dye. Work halfway through the hair. I don't bring it all the way down to the ends. Go through it with my fingers. Give it a little comb through and scooch it back. So as I get closer to the top, I flip it up and I get my roots around the ear and a little sideburn so it's all like the same tone of brown. And for the very top, I actually start at the bottom first. I just go ahead and spread that color on and then flip it the other side around and spread that color on. I'm a little bit more careful painting the top parts of my hair versus the very bottom because the bottom gets covered pretty easily. But the top, if you're missing, if it's patchy, it's definitely going to be noticeable. And it will be like a very orangey streak of hair and then like a very cool toned brown. You don't want that. You want it to just all blend nicely. So take a little bit more time doing your roots at the top. And as I get to the other side of the hair, I just start flipping the hair and work from top to bottom. I basically go full circle. Now we're going to mix the second part of the hair color and that's going to be the lighter parts. So I follow the directions on the hair dye, use the developer and I put half of the container of hair dye and half of the container of toner. Mix those two together and it's going to give another gelatinous textured blob that's light yellow in color. Yes, I'm wearing an army shirt inside out. Don't judge me, it's the only black shirt I had, so I had to wear it. I just bring all my hair to the front and kind of put it in four sections. I don't need to have smaller sections for this part. And I just comb through it, apply the hair dye, massage through with my fingers, give it another little comb through to make sure all the colors disperse through it, and repeat until all my hair is covered with hair dye. Once I'm done with this process, I just sit tight for only 15 more minutes because I've already had the dark hair color for a while. I just wash it off and you're done. And we're done. So this is my hair. After that one wash, I washed all the dye off and I used shampoo. I used hair food shampoo. It's very gentle, it's very nice and it feels really good. It feels really shiny and silky. Well, it can't feel shiny. It feels very silky and it's shiny, it looks healthy. I'm gonna show you the rest of my hair by standing up now. So, the roots are dark. On camera, it looks like tiny, tiny bit darker, but it's like a really nice ash dark brown. And as I get up, there's like a little bit of fade. And I love this gradient because when you have very long hair, it's very hard to see all the layers, especially if your hair is dark. So, you know. When you curl it or style it or braid it, I love braiding my hair, especially in the summertime. Now I can like see dimension. There's a little bit of dimension and that's what I like. And that's how I dye my hair, all the steps and details and everything I use. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.